<clears throat> Excuse my voice, man. <laughs> I tell you one thing, mucus is not no joke. It'll have you sounding very raspy and or like a little boy going through puberty. And I just feel like I sound disgusting. But you know what? I got some good footage in class today of... And just what we've been learning with lung sounds and where to listen to lung sounds at. So I just, I wanted to share that with you guys. So I decided, well, why don't you show them those videos and then take them along with you while you run some errands today. So I have to return some shoes today because the shoes I got for clinical are too wide. They flop off of my feet and that's gonna be extra annoying. You know, technically, like I always try to do the nursing shoes, but I feel like they're built wide. So I'm like, why not just go with the regular shoe? It has to be like white leather shoes. So I'm like, I can go with Reeboks. I can go with New Balance because I know they're good. They have good support. It'd be great if I could find some like Skechers like even some of like the memory foam ones see they have some that are like leather just so you know i can give some goodness to my feet i have to go um police a man i had to go yeah i call them police a man i saw a police a man but um i have to go to um one of the hospitals near me and get a badge made because you know might be where I do clinicals at or I will do clinicals at or I don't know we haven't really figured that out yet so yeah that's what I'm doing I don't know if I'm gonna go shoe shopping today because I want to do my hair or if I'm gonna go like shoe shopping tomorrow we shall, we shall see. Okay, so for lung sounds, we are gonna use, everybody should have a diaphragm. Okay, so everybody should have one of these. Everybody with me so far? Okay. And we wanna make sure it's on. That's a plus. Okay, all right, so there's eight spots. Now, for lung sounds as opposed to heart sounds, heart sounds I'm gonna get real technical with you and we're gonna, we're gonna feel our ribs. For lung sounds, we're not counting ribs, but what you need to think about is if there's eight here, and the rib, then look how your rib cage does. It goes, your lung tissue ends where your rib cage ends, okay? So if you can feel the person's thought, the base of their ribs, you need to space your eight locations between here and here. Does that make sense? Okay. The other thing is we're constantly comparing. Remember that imaginary line, right? So we're constantly comparing one side with the other side. So you're, when you're listening for sounds, you don't go straight down, okay? We're gonna listen one, two. Okay, one side, second side. Do I see that with our imaginary line? If you go straight down in check offs, you will be marked wrong. Okay, so you've got to get in the habit of comparing lung sides. Now, something else I bet you didn't know is that there is lung tissue above our clavicle. A very small amount of lung tissue right up here above the clavicle. So one and two, okay, are going to be up here. Do I see that? One and two are gonna be up here. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The bottom of the rib cage. Now, as you are listening, you want them to just breathe normally. Okay? Now you're going to hear some physicians say, "Take a deep breath," but remember, they're only doing it three or four times, right? You're doing it 26 times. So if you have them take a deep breath and breathe out for 26 times, you're gonna hyperventilate, okay? So just have them breathe normal. But 
up, preferably you just want to sit quietly, breathe normally, and you're listening for that inspiration and that expiration, okay? Now, on the sides, on each side, there are four, okay? Each side, there are four. So a total of eight, okay? So we had eight on the front, right? And then we've got four on each side. Now this is a little bit harder because you need to have them lift their wings, okay? And then one and two are under the armpit. You've got lung tissue under the armpit. So you've got to go one, two, three, four. So we have 10 on the back, 10 on the back. Now, the only thing I want you to really remember about the back, other than your 10 spots, is that you cannot hear breath sounds over a bone, okay? And we've got some big ones back here. We've got the spine and we've got the scapula, okay? So your lung sounds on the back, I want everybody to look at this, this is very important. Again, this is where a lot of people get marked off on and check offs. Your lung sounds on the back are very close together until you get below the scapula. I see that? So I'm going this way with it. Okay, I'm going this way with it. Following the ribs, but I've got to start in the middle and work out. So think about that when you're listening. Okay, do I see that? That is very, very important. Okay, so 10 on the back. So there's 26 spots now. So you should have been able with 26 spots to hear every every lobe and every direction. Okay? So um, the Chick-fil-A I go to doesn't sell sliders anymore, so I won't be eating Chick-fil-A, but it's okay because this is the end of the lunch break for the people at the mall. So I'm just go to the badge place get my badge done and then <clears throat> head home and have my Caesar salad and be healthy you know God just wants me to be healthy today okay so I did decided that it doesn't look bad so I'll show you the puff is huge photograph pretty well the lighting is good too I was a little worried but turned out good one step closer to clinicals.
while editing, I realized I never showed you the shoes that I got. I ended up getting this K-Swiss. Um, very simple, but they have like a memory foam inside. And they were like 40, but I got them from off Broadway Shoe Warehouse and they had a buy shoes, get another pair 50% off sale. So I ended up paying like 20 for these. So that's really good compared to the shoes that I had to return, which are like 60 bucks. So I went from 20 to 60. So I'm I'm happy. Yeah, I'm gonna just end this vlog here. I know it's not much of me, but hopefully you enjoy like seeing some of the stuff that I learned in class today. I think it's like really cool and I can't wait to practice. I will see you next time. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. I will be putting out the best content I possibly can and hopefully it will not disappoint you, you know. Go ahead, hit that bell button so you can get notified every time I make a video. And yeah, until next time, love strong, live strong, live positively and be the best that you possibly can be.